Roxas, officially the city of Roxas, is a third-class city and capital of the province of Capiz, Philippines. According to the 2015 census, it has a population of 167,003 people, originally known as the Municipality of Capiz, from which the province derives its name. The area became a chartered city on May 12, 1951, and was renamed in honor of native Manuel Acuña Roxas, the fourth president of the Philippines and the first of the independent post-American Third Philippine Republic. After Iloilo City, it is the second center of education, trade, economic activities and logistics on the island of Panay. The abundance of marine life makes Roxas City the seafood capital of the Philippines. It has received cleanest and greenest component city in Western Visayas Award in the Gawad Pongulo Sa Kapaligiran GPK Cleanliness and Environmental Contest. The Department of Health DO, awarded the city with the Red Orchid Award for being 100% tobacco free. It has also gained the Department of Interior and Local Government DILG, seal of good housekeeping and won the best police station in the region by the Philippine National Police. Geography Roxas City is situated just east of the north central coast of Panay Island with geographic coordinates of 11 degrees 35 n, 122 degrees 45. E. Its boundaries are, the Sibuyan Sea to the north, the municipality of Panatan to the south, the municipality of Ivasan to the west, and the municipality of Panay to the east. It is located 116 kilometers 72 miles north of Iloilo City, 86 kilometers 53 miles from Calibo, 213 kilometers 132 miles from San Jose de Buenavista and 250 nautical miles 460 kilometers southeast of Manila. Travel time from to Iloilo City takes 2 hours by land, while travel time from to Manila is 50 minutes by air and 18 hours by sea. Barangays The city of Roxas is politically subdivided into 47 barangays of which 31 are urban and 16 are rural. It is classified as a second-class component city belonging to the first legislative district of the province of Capiz along with the municipality of Maayan, Panay, Panatan, Pilar, Pontevedra, and President Roxas. Climate History Spanish colonial period in 1569, Captain Diego de Ardida, who was sent by Miguel López de Legazpi from Cebu, landed on the shores of the town of Panay and proclaimed it as the area's capital. Later, the capital was moved to its present site upon realizing that the town of Capiz was nearer to the sea and possessed better ground for docking facilities. The Spaniards saw the long coastal cover and envisioned a trading and shipping center. Ports were subsequently built in Libas and Calasi. The Panay River divided the original settlement in two, and had tributaries from the mountains that flowed through communities that sprang up along its shores. The river irrigated and fertilized the land, and during high tide provided water to fish ponds that exist to this day. In 1590, the Spanish Navy coming from Acapulco, Viceroyalty of Mexico made the port of Capiz its naval yard where ships sought shelter when the sea was rough. Capiz grew into a bustling port and houses of stone were built. The social and political status enjoyed by indigenous rulers of Capiz often resulted in mixed marriages with colonial Spaniards. Their mestizo descendants became the base of the town's set of principalia, the colony's noble or patrician class. Their privileged status enabled them to build houses near the Poblacion, the downtown area whose focal points was the plaza, the local chapel along Burgos Street, and the government complex. Their children became the beneficiaries of the Augustinian mission in 1593. In 1746, Capiz was made the seat of the politico-military government, although it was ecclesiastically controlled by the bishopric of Cebu. In the latter part of 1795, under Gobernador Silo Miguel Bautista, the old road to Bebe Beach was built as an extension of San Roque Street. The town was frequently attacked by Muslims that in 1814, stone forts at Bebe Beach Balwarte were built through the initiative of Gobernador Silo José Consolación. 
In 1870, ground was broken for the construction of Capiz Cathedral under the guidance of Reverend Apolonio Alvarez. It was built by sturdy hands, sweat and blood of Capianos, who were pressed into its building by the Polo y Servicios forced labor system. In 1876, the Diocese of Jaro in Iloilo was erected, and Capiz came under its jurisdiction. In 1877, the cathedral was finally finished. During the Philippine Revolution, the Spanish colonial government capitulated in August 1899, when Governor Juan Herrero formally surrendered to General Ananias de Ocno along Bebe Beach. American colonial period after 300 years under Spanish rule, the Philippine Islands came under the sovereignty of the United States of America. By the early 1900s, Protestant missionaries arrived in the islands, which the various denominations subsequently agreed to divide into mission territories. Western Visayas went to the American Baptists, Baptist institutions such as Falamar Christian University, Central Philippine University, Capiz Emanuel Hospital were later established. In August 1904, Rev. and Mrs. Joseph Robbins were entrusted with care of three little children. This situation of neglected homeless children touched their hearts which led to the establishment of Capiz Home School, with the first building being a gift from the American Baptist Foreign Mission Society. The Capiz Home School was later renamed Philammer Christian University. Philammer, being a portmanteau of Filipino and American. In 1914, an economic debacle hit the town of Capiz when the Ayala Distillery abruptly stopped operations. What could have been an ambitious forerunner of nationalized industrialization became the victim of the internal revenue law under American control. In 1917, Division Superintendent of Schools F.E. Hemingway founded Capiz Trade School for Intermediate Pupils. The institution offered woodworking as the only vocational course. The next division superintendent opened Capiz High School. In 1926, Division Superintendent Arthur Whitman authorized teaching of complete secondary curriculum in the Capiz Trade School. In the same year, Calasi Port was built to accommodate inter-island ships. Third Philippine Republic on February 15, 1951, the Diocese of Capiz became a separate ecclesiastical jurisdiction from Jaro. Its first bishop was Monsignor Manuel Yap. In the same year, Vice Mayor Libertad Conlu became the city's first female mayor. Capiz became a chartered city on May 12, 1951 through House Bill 1528, sponsored by Ramon Acuña Arnaldo, the representative of the 1st District of Capiz. It was approved by President Elpidio Quirino, Rox's successor, on April 11, 1951 as Republic Act 603. Consequently, the town was renamed Rox's City after the late Manuel Rox's, the final president of the Commonwealth and the first president of the Third Republic. The city's first appointed mayor was Lorenzo Acuña Arnaldo, followed by Ramon Berjamin Blanco, José Dorado, and Giuliano Oliveira Alba. In 1959, Arnaldo became the city's first elected head. He was succeeded by Teodoro Roxas Arsenas, who himself was succeeded by Giuliano Oliveira Alba. Alba was also the representative of the 1st District of Capiz when President Ferdinand Marcos declared martial law nationwide on September 21, 1972. Antonio A. del Rosario, the incumbent representative of the 1st District of Capiz, was elected to three terms as mayor, serving from 1998 to 2007. Vicente B. Bermejo, the former governor of the province of Capiz, was elected mayor and served from 2007 to 2010. Roxas City's current mayor is Angel Allen B. Salino, who previously served as vice mayor from 2004 to 2007. Historical account of Pedro G. Gallardo, O.S.A. Capiz is located on a small island formed by the Panay and Banaca rivers. The Panay rivers was famous, it is said by the great number of Caymanes alligators. The soil is poor in the northern part of the island and is most productive only in the southern part. It is bounded by the Mindoro Sea, the Panay River, Loctugan, the Mindoro Sea and Ibison. 
It enjoys balmy atmosphere and offers very picturesque views, especially from the open sea. This town was accepted in 1693 as a visita of the town of Panay. Fr. Agustin Estrada was named prior that same year. In 1707, it was declared an independent parish under the advocation of Our Lady of the Immaculate Conception. The Private Council of 1716 created this town which was originally named El Puerto de Capiz, a vicariate under Fr. Pedro Vivaldi, as prior vicar. In 1728, the convent was relieved from paying any rent to San Agustin Monastery. And likewise, in 1732. This suggests that the convent was rather poor or that the priors were building the parochial edifices. By this time, Loctugan and Ibison were assigned to it as Visitas. In the middle of the 18th century, Capiz was declared the capital city of the province of the same name which later became the most famous seaport and the biggest ministry the Augustinians had in that province. Capiz or Capiz, was renowned all over for its shells, the Capiz used for window panes on houses and convents all throughout the Philippines. Tradition holds that this is the place where the Visayas dialect is spoken with more propriety and musicality, and where women dress with more neatness and elegance. The Capianos showed special loyalty to Spain during the British invasion, by sending money and ammunition to Manila and jailing the alcalde mayor, Señor Quintanilla, who was caught conducting secret negotiation to have the province handed over peacefully to the British. In 1732, Capiz had 2,327 souls. In 1760 Capiz had 3,971 of which 16 were Spaniards. In 1896, its population increased to 17,683. In 1990, it reached 103,171. Capiz was a progressive city in 1891, its exports through the seaport, reached 1,800,000 pesos and imports were valued at 900,000 pesos. It was a joy to watch, in the old times, the many boats converging, often at the same time, at the port to load rice. The primitive church was built before 1698, the year in which the typhoon of January 4 destroyed it together with the convent. According to a document, the priest found it difficult to rebuild them because the people were not used to work. Fortunately, Fr. Domingo Horbagoso, minister of Capiz, started building the church in 1728, the year in which the convent was relieved from paying any rent to San Agustin Monastery. The construction seemed to have continued, at least until 1732. Capiz was founded in 1693 under the advocation of Our Lady of the Immaculate Conception. Demographics In the 2015 census, the population of Roxas, Capiz, was 167,003 people, with a density of 1,800 inhabitants per square kilometer or 4,700 inhabitants per square mile. Languages spoken in Roxas City are Kapanan and Hiligaynon, Alongo. Economy the city gets its power from the Capiz Electric Cooperative CAPELCO. The Metro Roxas Water District MRWD, supplies drinking water to the populace. MRWD claims they have the cleanest and safest potable water in the region. Supplementing the water supplied by Metro Roxas Water District MRWD, are wells with hand pumps and artesian wells which are constructed through the Barangay Water Program BWP, and Department of Public Works and Highways DPWH. The city's urban area now expanded to the southern part primarily on the site of the 500 hectares 1, acres master planned city within a city. Pueblo de Panay, which aims to build a new business district between Lawan and Sibiguan highways. It is now occupied by several restaurants and hotels, 40 meters, 130 feet, High Sacred Heart of Jesus, Roxas, Capiz, Shrine, the tallest in the Philippines, Sitio Uno by Pueblo Residences, Roxas City. S first condominium and the 37,500 square meters, 404,000 square feet, Robinson's Place Roxas. 
The Pueblo de Panay Technopark will house international and national BPO companies. Nearby the decade old Gaisano Grand Roxas is the location of the first of the many city malls of Double Dragon Properties and SM Prime Holdings. Roxas City is experiencing a real estate boom due to rapid conversions of fish ponds into subdivisions and commercial areas. The National Port of Calasi and Roxas Airport serve as the main gateway to the city from the capital city of Manila. Philippine Airlines and Cebu Pacific has a daily flight to, from the capital city, Manila. The MV Love 1 of Moreta Shipping Lines provides shipping going to Manila North Harbor and the Super Shuttle Roro and 2GO Travel links Calasi to Batangas. Agriculture Roxas City has an agri-based economy. Farming and fishing are the major economic activities which claim 37.05% of the city's total land area. Although agricultural, the city is now moving towards commercialization and industrialization as it is the center of trade and commerce not only in the province of Capiz but also in the northern part of Panay Island. Rice and melons are the major crops grown in this region. Many locals have papaya and jackfruit trees. Aquaculture, seafood production Roxas City as seafood capital of the Philippines supplies export seafood products to various countries such as Taiwan, Japan and the United States. Philips Seafood Philippines Corporation is the sole seafood production company in Roxas City. The main aquaculture farms are oyster and milk fish farms that take advantage of natural tidal bays and other low-lying areas near the coast. Their seafood processing plant is located in Banica, Roxas City. Banking Close to 40 banks are currently operating in Roxas City to serve personal and entrepreneurial savings. Furthermore, through PPP, several financial assistance from banks are utilized for infrastructure developments in Roxas City. Many of these banks have armed guards. Infrastructure Public transport Roxas City is served mostly by passenger jeepneys, metered taxis and motorized tricycle within the city limits. The Capiz cabs metered taxis, of Roxas City are made of SUV type and can carry seven maximum passengers and serve to any point of Panay Island. Most of them are designed in colorful packaging and can be seen all the time in Roxas Airport. The Pueblo de Panay Libot vehicles are new additions to the transportation system primarily within Pueblo de Panay. These vehicles are customized Isuzu NHR trucks and are bigger than the usual passenger jeepneys. Transport terminals Roxas City has two transport terminals located at the city's perimeter areas, these are Roxas City Integrated Terminal located at the Pueblo de Panay in Lawan is the transport hub serving passengers to, from the provinces of Aklan and Iloilo and roll-on roll-off Roro buses plying Roxas Manila, Cubao. The PHP 50 million newly erected integrated terminal was done through PPP by the LGU and Pueblo de Panay Inc. Roxas City Eastern Terminal located in Banica, Roxas City is the transport hub serving passengers to, from the province of Iloilo. Railroad From 1907 to 1989, Panay Railways operated a railroad from Roxas City to the port area of Mule Loni along the Iloilo River in Iloilo City. A revival of Panay Railways has been approved by the Regional Development Council, Region 6 and is currently under feasibility study. Roxas Airport Roxas Airport RXS, is an airport serving the general area of Roxas City, the entire province of Capiz, and northern Iloilo in the Philippines. The airport is classified as a Class 1 principal airport by the Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines. In 2013, the national government has approved the PHP 215 million budget for the expansion of the Roxas Airport including installation of night landing facilities. Roxas Airport has 3-3 daily flight bound to Manila, 2-2 flights by Cebu Pacific and 1-1 flight by Philippine Airlines. 
The airport also has a direct link to Mactan Cebu International Airport in Cebu courtesy of a daily flight by Sebgo, a subsidiary of Cebu Pacific. Port of Calasi The Port of Calasi is the port serving the entire area of Roxas City and the gateway port of northern Panay. This port is the trading and shipping center during the Spanish colonialism. Currently, it has routes from Roxas City to Rimblon, Masbate, Cebuyan, Dumaguit, Cadiz, Estancia, Carls, Batangas and Manila. The Philippine Coast Guard Roxas and the first search and rescue hub of the PCG and a mini hospital are also located here. In 1926, Calasi Port was built by the construction firm Pedro Siochi and Company to serve as transshipment point for inter-island vessel that carries vital products for the people living in Capiz, and its neighboring provinces such as Aklan and northern Iloilo as well. Currently, two Roro vessels are operating the port namely, 2GO Travel and Supper Shuttle Roro both are bound to Batangas. Domestic seaports and fishing, marine, port facilities The port of Libas or Libas Fishing Port, provides anchorage to fishing vessel, and serves as center for trade of marine products in the province. The port of Banica, serves as a trading route from Roxas City to different parts of Masbate Island. This wharf is said to be the site where Captain Diego de Ardida who was sent by Miguel López de Legazpi from Cebu landed in 1569. Communication Available communication services in Roxas City are, telephone services including domestic and international direct dial, facsimile, mobile communications, internet, telegraph and telex stations, post offices and other messengerial and courier services. There are three, three telephone service providers in Roxas City providing landline connections to almost all of the municipalities. These are Philippine Long Distance Telephone Company, Innove, Globe Telecom, and Bayan Telecommunications. Cellular telephone facilities are also provided by three, three cellular companies namely Smart Communications, Globe Telecom and Sun Cellular. Convention facilities El Circulo Convention Center, the Mediterranean-inspired convention center is the latest infrastructure of Pueblo de Panay. The convention center hosts wedding and other important events. Pueblo de Panay proposes to add resorts and hotels near the convention center by 2017. Currently, it houses the University of the Philippines Visayas College of Management, Master of Management Program Roxas Extension and holds classes every Saturday. Jerry Roxas Foundation Resource Center at the Roxas City Center, serves as host of several symposia, meetings, and convention for government sectors. CAP Auditorium, owned by College Assurance Plan also hosts major events such as national, regional and local conventions and serves as a venue for cultural presentations and educational events. Other big venues in Roxas City that can accommodate international and national gatherings are the Capas Mansion Ballroom at Banica, the main hall at La Hacienda Hotel and MBW Restaurant and Hotel. Sports venues and stadium Birial Stadium, is the biggest stadium in Western Visayas. Built in 1962, the 20,000 seating capacity stadium has an Olympic sized swimming pool, fully air conditioned 6,000 capacity gym, Capiz gymnasium, rubberized oval and paved tennis, volleyball, football, and basketball courts. The 10 hectare sports complex has become the official venue of various events aside from sports such as the second annual One Visayas Festival in 2010. It has also become a major forerunner in promoting sports tourism in the province of Capiz. The sports complex had hosted the Palarong Pambansa in 1963, Philippine University Games, Unigames, in 2011 and numerous WVRAA and WVPRISAA events. Dingoy Roxas Civic Center, the Civic Center has 5,000 seating capacity and a host for regional and local basketball sports events like WVRAA, WVPRISAA and intercollegiate basketball leagues in the city. The Civic Center usually serves as the venue for Mutya Sa Sanadia Sang Halloran Beauty Pageant. 
Capiz Gymnasium, this gym has 6,000 seating capacity and has been a host of several sports events such as Philippine Basketball Association, PBA, WVRAA, WVPRISAA, Unigames, etc. The gymnasium serves also a venue for various national, regional, and local events. New Road Networks the Roxas City Government, through the Capiz Provincial Government, identified Roxas City Circumferential Road as one of their priority projects. Roxas City Circumferential Road would serve as a bypass road for traffic of goods and passengers going to and from Calasi Port and Panay Town and the adjoining northeastern towns of Capiz, without passing through the central business area of Roxas City. The Roxas City Circumferential Road is one of four road projects being proposed by DPWHV under the Panay Roads Investment Development Pride to be funded by the Japan Bank of International Cooperation. Although most of the construction on the road projects is done by hand. Many of the road projects are politically motivated and cause undue stress and burden on the locals who live alongside the major roads. Some locals have lost their property to the government in road projects with little to no compensation. Roxas City Circumferential Road is divided into two sections. Section I starts at the Kalasi Port and passing at the side of Kataman River, crosses the said river wherein two bridges will be constructed. Section 2 starts at the junction of the Ivison Roxas National Road and eventually joins the National Highway going to Panay and Pontevedra towns. Pueblo de Panay Road Network, a four-lane to six-lane high-impact roads connecting the National Highway in Lawan to the highways in Burgues, Dinjinan and Sibiguan. The Health Centrum Complex Road Network, newly access roads developed by the Health Centrum Inc. To connect direct access from the main highway of Banica to the complex recently. The roads are also connected to the bridge that connects Tiza and Banica. Plazas and public parks Capiz Provincial Park This landmark is located within the perimeter of Brigi. Tiza, Roxas City fronting the Capiz National High School. It has lushful greeneries and houses several pocket gardens. The park has three monuments that represent the historical and cultural diversities of Roxas City. A turtle-shape outdoor theater nests at the western part of the park. Another platform is situated at the southern area, which can accommodate numerous public events. This park perfectly resembles a simple yet picturesque nook for local and foreign tourists. Roxas City Plaza, Halloran Plaza Located at the heart of the city, this park has two divisions. The first division lies near the Panay River banks. It houses a famous landmark, Roxas City Bandstand, where it is the exact location where signing of MOA, chartering municipality of Capiz into city of Roxas. At the right end of the first division, stands the life-size chess plaza. The second division of Roxas City Plaza faces the right side of Roxas City Hall. It has several pine trees, but after the ravaging super typhoon Yolanda hit the seafood capital of the Philippines, several trees were uprooted and only few are currently existing. Travelers can visit Manuel A. Roxas Monument in this park. The monument faces with Jose Rizal Monument at the far end of the capital. Few steps from M. A. Roxas Monument is the only water tank turned into museum in the Philippines. The Panublian Museum serves as the storyteller of Roxas City's history. La Playa de Roxas People's Park This public park is situated at Brigi. Bebe, Roxas City. It faces the Sibuyan Sea and the scenic coastline of northern Panay. At the left end of the park showcases the colorful dancing fountain. There is a beach that people swim at and the park has grass area and security boat. The park also has cheap street food and a children's playground. At the right end of the park is the Copies Shells inspired seafood court, where the city's marine products are served fresh at very reasonable prices. Hospitals and medical centers Roxas City is gearing up for medical hub in northern Panay as several hospitals and health institutions are upgrading. 
Currently, the city has one government-owned hospital with two sites and four private hospitals. Through the aid of public empowerment, City of Roxas took off its landfall in the Hall of Famer for Red Orchid, smoke-free city, in the Philippines. With the partnership of private and government sectors, several health propaganda were established to strengthen the health care delivery system. Today, several business tycoons are eyeing to put up world-class health facilities in the city. Capiz Emanuel Hospital, founded by the American Baptist Mission in Capiz. Dr. Frederick Meyer, a former administrator of the hospital, also wrote the early history of Capiz. This 100-bed capacity tertiary hospital was founded in 1908. St. Anthony College Hospital of Roxas City, the 135-bed capacity was founded in June 1956 by Mr. and Mrs. Pio Bernas who, having realized the need for more health care facilities in Roxas City and in Capiz, initiated the project with the help of Dr. Gaudencio Ortane. Roxas Memorial Provincial General Hospital, the 150-bed capacity public hospital is moving to Capitol Hills, Lanet, Roxas City. The new 300-bed capacity hospital is currently under construction while the OPD is already completed. Capiz Doctors Hospital is in Water Village, Lawan, Roxas City. The facility is a 100-bed capacity hospital. The Health Centrum Hospital and Wellness Center is the first ever medical tourism facility in the western Visayas region. Currently, the Health Centrum Hospital is a 60-bed capacity tertiary hospital and is open for expansion in the future. Education Roxas City is considered as the center of education in northern Panay. The city hosts three universities and various colleges. Universities the city has one national program extension university, one state university and one private university. Capiz State University, Roxas City, Maine Capiz State University, Dayo Campus Palamar Christian University, Roxas Avenue, Roxas City University of the Philippines Visayas College of Management, Master of Management, Program Roxas Extension, Pueblo de Panay, Lawan, Roxas City. Colleges Festivals Sanadia Sa Halloran the Sanadia Sa Halloran Festival is celebrated the first week of December in commemoration of the founding of the city followed by the Diwal Festival signifying the city's importance as the country's seafood capital, along with the Aswang Festival that symbolizes the heritage of myth and folklore in the province. There used to be two separate festivals, the Halloran offering and the Sanadia celebration. The former is celebrated by the province of Capiz and the latter by the city of Roxas. The Sanadia was formerly held at the same time as the Feast of the Immaculate Conception, which was celebrated by the Immaculate Conception Metropolitan Cathedral. The Halloran was usually held by the last week of October each year, a prelude to All Souls Day and All Saints Day festivals. However, because of the costs of holding two separate festivals year, the two festivals were merged, with both the province of Capiz and the city of Roxas contributing to the expenses. Dewal Festival The Roxas City Seafood Festival is held to commemorate and promote the resurgence of the angel wing or Dewal, which neared extinction in Capiz until protected and cultivated in Roxas City. Kapitstahan Festival The Kapitstahan is celebrated every second week of April combined joint forces from City of Roxas, Province of Capiz and One Capiz. Aswang Festival Short-lived festival dealing with supernatural characters and Capiz folklore. It was discontinued due to the protests from religious groups. Notable people Politics Pedro Gil, was a physician, journalist, and legislator. 
He was elected representative for the South District of Manila on the Democratra Party ticket. He became minority floor leader in the House of Representatives of the Philippines. Manuel Roxas (1892–1948), first president of the Independent Republic of the Philippines. Gerardo Roxas (1924–1982), Philippine senator and son of President Manuel Roxas. Manuel Roxas II, born 1957, Philippine Senator, grandson of President Manuel Roxas and former Department of the Interior and Local Government Secretary Gerardo Roxas Jr. 1960–1993, grandson of President Manuel Roxas and former Congressman Business Edgar Sia, is the chairman of Double Dragon Properties and the founder of Mangai Nasal fast food restaurant chain Beauty Pageants Geraldine Villaruz ASIs, born 1965, Binibining Pilipinas Universe 1987, Miss Universe 1987 finalist entertainment Gina Alajar, actress and director Daisy Avalana, 1917–2013, actress and theater director Char Charmaine Arnaz, born 1974, actress Paolo Badiones, born 1974, commercial model, television host, journalist, newscaster, and radio announcer music Emil Millares, was a jazz vibraphonist and pianist, and was a musical director on Filipino television, as well as a composer, arranger, bandleader and producer. Barbie Almalbus, born 1977, singer, former frontman of Hungry Young Poets and Barbie's Cradle. McCoy Morales, is an actor, singer and model. He joined the protege, the battle for the big artista break. Uvita Fuentes, dubbed the first lady of Philippine music. The first female recipient of the National Artist Award. Social Sciences Josefa Abertas, 1894-1929, feminist and lawyer who was born and raised in Capiz sister cities Roxas City has the following sister cities, local Quezon City, Metro Manila International San Bernardino, California, USA. Guam, USA. Balakese, Turkey See also list of renamed cities and municipalities in the Philippines References External links Philippine Standard Geographic Code Philippine Census Information Sen. Jose Altavis Roxas City Government Official Website